So hello everyone, myself Advocate Gautam Arshwal working at Lexis and Company Law Firm as a junior associate. So today in this video we are going to discuss, <coughs> you know, uh, as we all know there are so many legal rights which are being given to the citizens of India. But in this video and the second part of this video we are going to discuss some legal rights used in daily life in India. Uh, so let's start our discussion without fur any further delay. So this is the first part of this video. Uh, the second part will be after uh, we will be the follow up this video. Will be the follow up of this video. So the first is loan recovery. What is loan recovery? A loan recovery is, you know, a loan given to, uh, to any friend or relative cannot be recovered after three years, right? Which is being basically, it, it is clearly mentioned in the <coughs> Limitation Act of 1963, that law cannot help a person whose loan has been due uh, for uh, more than three years. The first legal act. Second is bank lunch time. What is bank lunch time? You know. <coughs> So there is no lunch break for bank employees. The, you know they divide uh, they divide into three groups for taking uh, for taking different different slots to eat uh, to eat lunch. Bank employees cannot deny a customer due to lunch hours. There must be a you know <coughs> there must be at least one to two employees present during the uh, during the business hours. So uh, and another legal right is. Uh, Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act 1956. What it says, a person cannot adopt a male child if uh, if the male or woman already has a son or son's sons, right? So there must be a difference uh, of age of, of at least 21 years between the adoption of, of parents and the child. Uh, the parents must be of sound mind also. So this is the condition, and uh, that's all about the legal right under Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act. Another is woman arrest law. What is woman arrest law? Women uh, cannot be arrested from 6 6 p.m. to 9 uh, you know 6 a.m. in India. There must be female constable during the arrest as well. All right. So this is the law related to arrest of a woman. What is F so the another law legal right in India is FIA rejection. What is FIA rejection? You know a police officer cannot refuse to F uh, file an FIR of cognizable offences under Section 166 of Indian Penal Code. You know, if a police officer refuses to file an FIR of a rape case, he can be imprisonment imprisoned for two years, right? Cognizable offences are usually serious in nature, so that's all about uh, cognizable offences. The other law is hotel facilities. What is hotel facilities? Hotel facilities. You know, drinking water and using the washroom uh, uh, are the basic rights of an individual that he can utilize in a hotel. The hotel cannot deny both these facilities, right? So this is your, uh, you know, legal right. You can, uh, you must understand this. Uh, police 24/7. What is police 24/7 uh, legal right? A police officer is always on on duty, so he cannot refuse to help a person in case of uh, crime has been committed. In case a crime has been committed, you know, he cannot say that this is uh, not my duty time. Uh, once a police officer is always a police officer on duty, right? Uh, pregnant office rights. What is uh, you know, women's pregnant uh, office rights? No employee can terminate the contract of a pregnant employee because it is mentioned in the Maternity Benefit Act. And there is provision, you know, there are provision, there is provision of imprisonment up to three years if any company or a, uh, you know, uh, uh, basically a PL does so, he will be imprisonment for three years. The other is traffic police car keys. What is traffic police car keys? Uh, uh, you know, legal right. A traffic police officer are not allowed to take keys to, uh, to your vehicle while checking your documents like uh, driving license, insurance, etc. You know, there must uh, you know it might happen with you in many cases that uh, police officer comes, to, uh, traffic police officer comes to you and uh, take out the key of your uh, bike or you know the other two wheeler or three wheeler. So it's not his right. He cannot take it from you. The only thing he can ask for you is documents. If you do not have documents, then he can further proceed, but he cannot take out the keys from your vehicle. That's all about the first part of this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.